What's going on, hyper fitness athletes out there? This is Lamont Fletcher here, and welcome to the channel where the mindset of strength training is being multi dimensional. Weightlifting, calisthenics, being able to do CrossFit, HIT, TRX, whatever it is out there, just not being standing in one, one particular fitness discipline, but being able to tackle them all. And I believe the implementation of those programs and being able to do a variety of those programs will prepare your body to be able to attack with whatever life has to throw at you. And then also being able to achieve and maintain your fitness goals. So that's the whole, the whole premise of this channel. But some of the, one of the things that I look at too, and this kind of reverting back to my military training after 26 years in the Marine Corps, is I saw this type of multi-dimensional mindset and thought process where when I first came in, we did, it was not what was called a, a PFT, a physical fitness test. So physical fitness test, the only thing we did was pretty much 20 pull-ups, 100 sit-ups, and then three mile run. And then later on in my career, after about 10 years, the Marine Corps went and started doing a combat fitness test. We still did the physical fitness test and tested out for that for the first part of the year. And then the last part of the year, we did a combat fitness test, which involved picking up your buddy, um, fire uh, or, or what we call it, a buddy drag, uh, picking up ammo cans, uh, doing uh, shoulder presses with ammo cans, and I believe they weighed about 40 pounds, throwing grenades, running 800 meters. So we became, we started thinking about becoming a little bit more multi-dimensional, more functional in our aspect when it came to this uh, physical fitness, not just running, and just pulling your own body weight. So, uh, and, and that also turned over to, the Army started doing something similar too. I'm not sure what year they, they did it, but they, they do a physical fitness test and they also do their version of a combat fitness test also. So that's my whole thought process and truly what I believe in the whole background behind this channel is um, being able to train with you know weights and your own body weight, you know go to the park and you know do some pull-ups and you know some muscle-ups and things of that nature. But enough about that. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit later on in some other videos. But what I want to talk to y'all about is something that I did was get a, a body fat percentage done. And this I believe this is only the second time that I've done it. And this time here I'm gonna show y'all the results from that body fat composition um, test that was done for me. So check it out. All right, so let's take a look at this sheet here that I got from the gym. So that shows my height, six feet, age 49, I'm getting up there, 50 years old this year, male, time and date, February 17, 2021, at 1722, 522 in the afternoon. So we're gonna break this down. This how this is what it shows. So first thing it's gonna show is your body composition analysis, and your composition analysis is gonna show your body weight, which is me at 100 190 pounds. My lean body mass is 175. Total body water is 128, and it's gonna break it down as far as intercellular and extracellular water. Dry lean mass and your body fat mass. My body fat mass is 14.5. Uh, Coming down here, muscle mass. So first thing, let me give you orientation. Now these numbers are gonna show if, it's, if these lines are line up anywhere in here. If it's over here, that means it's, it's getting up there. It's a little bit high. You wanna be right up in here, which is normal. And then this right here is going to be like below, lower, normal or low. And basically what I have is my weight is 190. So they're saying that pretty much based off of my height that I'm above, I'm getting to where I'll be considered overweight. So I'm getting there to where if I was like 210, 220, 230, of course, I'll be considered overweight. Uh, of course, you know, that's subjective. Then here is my skeletal muscle mass, and that's at 101. And again, that's high, and but 
I, I would like to keep that high. I think that's good. And the body fat mass is at 14.5, which is low. You definitely want to have that low. Next we have here is the obesity analysis. So I'm at 25.8, which is coming up a little bit low, or not low, but in a high category. But my percentage of body fat is at 7.7, .7, and that's low. So that's what I want that to be at. And then your segmental lean analysis. This is going to show per your body, your your body part, how much how much pounds that body part weighs and per, that percentage in comparison. So my arms are high in the body weight in percentage. Trunk, same thing. Develop. And then my right leg and left leg, I need to bring that up. I need to work on that. So I got some areas of improvement, guys. ECW. So ECW, that just shows um, the ratio of, of your extracellular water and compares to the total body water. So it's just basically an indicator of your body water uh, balance. And... Mine's right there. I'm right at normal, but I want to bring that up. Definitely want to bring that up a little bit and drink some more water. I know I've been kind of low on my water intake. And then the body uh, composition history is going to show everything from here. Take, it takes a segment from each of these and bring it down here and gives you a snapshot. So weight is one. Not, oops, sorry. Weight is 190, and my skeletal muscle mass is 101, and ECW, or body fat, is not lining up correctly here. Body fat is 7.7, ECW, 0.366. <clears throat> and segmental fat analysis. So this is going to show you... Since I'm at 7.7 .7 body fat, this is going to show you exactly where that fat is is, lo is located at. My arms, some ounces in my arms, my trunk, of course, for the men, I'm at 7.7 .7, um, pounds in my trunk, and then the right leg and left leg. So that's showing the body fat mass, actually. Where, where all that stuff is um, kind of located at. And then the basal metabolic rate. And that is basically is an indicator of how many calories I'm burning throughout the day just waking up and living. So I'm burning almost 2,100 calories a day, which is good. I'm, I'm glad my, um, my metabolism is still, rate is still up there, so that's good. And then the visual fat level, the visual fat level basically is an indicator uh, that kind of estimates how much fat is surrounding my internal organs um, in the abdom abdominal region. And maintaining a visual fat indicator under 10 is where you want to be at to stay healthy. So I'm at a 2. Um, so I'm pleased with that. Definitely pleased with that. So that's... That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the little test right here, and kind of, kind of gives me a good um, snapshot of you know what I'm doing if I'm if I'm doing everything right. I definitely got some areas of improvement I need to make, but um, other than that, I'm, I'm definitely pretty pleased with this. Uh, oh, another thing I want to point out with this one right here is that this was done at. Uh, 5 22 in the afternoon so you always want to do your 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 any type of test like this or weighing yourself in the morning time that's going to give you a better indicator exactly wh where you're at and um kind of more accurate picture of, of, of where your body is at on an empty stomach after you've been fasting for at least 12 hours i would say if you stop eating at six or seven and you get up at six or seven that next day 
um, this gives you a good indicator of where you're at. This test was done at 5.22 in the afternoon, so I done had like four meals. So it's safe to say that if I would have did this first thing in the morning on an empty stomach without any external factors from the environment, whatever, I probably would have been at, what, 7.5, 7.4, maybe, I, I would think, uh, doing this the first thing in the morning. So pretty good. So what I'm going to do is, this this ends it, I'm going to give y'all, my next video I'm going to show y'all exactly what I eat, kind of give you a general idea of what it kind of takes to, to, to get to this level. Because I believe based off of this right here and knowing my body weight and what I do throughout the day, year round, I'm probably right around a 6.5, 7, 7, 7.2-ish. Uh, year round, especially with the summertime coming up. This was done in, this is done in February, and after all the holidays and eating and all that. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with this. But yeah, thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know what video you want to see next. I'm gonna do another one. I'm trying to link this up here and into the corner to uh, to show you exactly what I eat, and then you know we we'll just take it from there. But other than that, stay strong, stay fit. Strength and honor, and make sure you stay consistent. That's the key. Consistency. All right, guys. Peace.